level one Maxwell Bench, United States Water Center. Here look at here do a central plains, short range, and long range update this uh, Tuesday night. Um six days of Christmas, so Merry Christmas to all of you who are watching this. Um we're gonna look at through the next ten days, basically central plains update. Uh, we're just go through basically the worn stretch we're gonna be having ahead, okay? Um, basically this is a, obviously temperatures here. Let's just go through the next couple of days here in the European model. Um, as you can see, see we're going through the next days. We have we have pretty much warmth here here in the central plains. Basically here until we get that Arctic blast as we've been discussing for quite a while. And you can see by Thursday you can see that big contrast temperatures 50 degrees here in central and eastern Kansas. And you can see here comes your big Arctic cold front that comes through here by 00z on Friday, which would be up, which would be about six o'clock here. Uh, we go through time, and you can see it gets very, very cold. It's one amount of time here in Kansas and the central plains across, also across the Midwest. Here we have some snowpack. You get, maybe get some um, sub-zero temperatures up there as you go through time. Through we're just gonna go through at Christmas for now. We'll go long range a little bit later. You see, we go through Christmas. Um, Christmas day, or right now, that's Saturday, 29 for the high. I should have started 33 for the high, according to the European. 12Z, your, or yeah, 12Z, here we go. A Christmas Eve forecast. Guess what, guys? We're in the cold. Uh, 20s for highs um, on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day um, looks like we get, we're still in the cold, all right? And it, it does have some moderation on Christmas Day, but I don't know about that. Um, GFS temperatures here. Sorry, I didn't have it on here for the central plains through Christmas. And you can see this warmth still here. You can see there's some 50s for lows tonight because there's a low level moisture, kind of a low pressure one like this. Gives some moisture here in the central part. So you go through time here through Christmas. You have big front come through. Um, this has the front kind of lingering a little bit. This has a little bit slower front, but in other any way, there's a cold shot here. All right, um, Christmas, Christmas Eve forecast again. According to this, we're in the low 20s. I mean, mid 20s, low 20s here. Um, Christmas Day, same thing. I think this is. I think it's more of a verification that we're more more or less here in the 20s. And if we, I'm gonna actually go to today's model run, latest model run here, and. Okay, there is some moderation in temperatures. Um, we all think we'll be slightly above freezing for the high on Christmas, but again, it's just a slight moderation to what we've seen earlier in the forecast models. Um, and yeah, so I'll see if there's any precipitation here in the next five days here in the Central Plains. Uh, European here showing some snow, possibly mixing in with some rain here in Central and Northern Kansas to go through time. Nice, nice moisture here down. In Oklahoma and Texas, you can see there's some snow starting to mix in here in Illinois. And there is some chance there's potential for some light flurries to develop here, light snow showers to develop here by Christmas, um, by Christmas Eve, and then it just exits out. So, uh, so moisture in the next couple of days doesn't look like the best in the world. Um, corner GFS as well. We'll look, we'll look at the GFS small, play a small run here. For any precip, and it's scars, guys. There's no precip going to the GFS except for far northwest, Can oh, for, for except for far northwest Kansas into there's a storm system here into Missouri, and there's some snow up here. Um, CMC also hints at as ah, a storm system down here, trying to deal with, but also hints at some snow here as we head into Christmas. And you can see, I'm gonna show you guys the snow amounts now for basically that time. And don't look at these model, don't look at these uh, forecasts, snow models down here. These aren't gonna happen. But if we look up in Kansas here, you can see there is potential for some light accumulation across much of Kansas for Christmas Day. And here it is, white Christmas, maybe. It's on the table right here in Kansas. A uh, European also I think says white Christmas. I'm not sure actually, it probably has a little less of a white Christmas for us. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there is not very much in the European model. Just a light dusting. 
the very least. Let's see if we can just hear. Yeah, an inch, maybe. Yeah, it's pushing it, I guess. I think, yeah, there's going to be, there, according to the European, there's an inch of snow on the ground. Um, again, I, I get very cool temperatures, you can only go 15 to 1 in this kind of environment where you have a lot of cold weather. Uh, it says an inch of snow, CMC says an inch of snow. And, and according to, to the European, I mean, according to the GFS, has nothing on us, which I don't agree with at all. Um, accumulated, accumulated moisture over the last, next five days into Christmas. Not a lot of moisture, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Not a lot of moisture here. A lot of moisture down here in Arkansas and Texas and Oklahoma. They're getting hammered. They're finally getting some rain down there. We're still in drought here in Kansas, it looks like, for a while. But there are signs that this could change here in Kansas um, through New Year's. Um, I'm gonna show you this right now. Um, one, one forecast tool I use is the Bering Sea rule, all right? And this rule basically tells you what is gonna happen in the United States 17 to 21 days later. And this tells me there, oh, there is a storm system here on the 29th, 28th, 29th of December that could be a big storm system, which could rise for some moisture, all right? And this is something to watch. Um, but first, let's look at the, my graphic that I made today. You can see Arctic air coming here around um, around on Friday here, you can see a low pressure system starting to develop up here. Uh, this this is going to change um, because basically I think the low pressure is going to be more down in here instead of being up here. But to give you the idea, there's Arctic air coming and filling in across much of the central conus um, as we get through Friday. And for snow totals for Christmas, there's a storm system there. I do think the storm track is still low. The cold air, I'm going to probably do extreme confidence as we head tomorrow. We'll upgrade these, update these graphics tomorrow. But basically, this is what I think right now. All right, for the Christmas Day storm, and this could verify for the other storms I want to show you right now. All right, so what I use here, Bering Sea method, tells me there's a storm system potential here across the central United States, 28th, then between 29th here and the Christmas or New Year's Eve. Sorry about that. Um, potential. All right. And as we head into the European model, we're actually going to go to the 850 um, millibar temperatures. These are basically the temperatures up a thousand feet above the ground. And these, I don't like looking at forecast uh, uh, ground temperatures because they're not going to be very accurate. I like looking at these. It's going to tell you how the atmosphere is kind of interpreting itself. All right. Um, so here we go. Through Christmas, you can see we're still with a very, very cold atmosphere. You can see it starts to break off a little bit. Get some relief by Christmas Day. You can see it's just a degree above freezing up in the atmosphere. So, um, yeah, um, here we go. And they're still cold, all right. And they're still cold around here. Uh, there is a, there is maybe a, a brief um, warmth spell here, not a warmth spell, moderation spell here, where we, where we get maybe back to up to 40s, low 40s on uh, the day after Christmas. But that soon changes again, as you see another Arctic blast coming down, coming right down towards us. You see, let's try to look back up, but that's not going to happen. It's right back down, and according to the European, another Arctic blast. And, and then um, CMC, uh, this goes to 240. We're just going to look at the CMC, see what it does with the 850 temperature. All through this time, you see, it's the same, basically the same idea with. Um, kind of brings the cold back here across the area by 29. I don't take the CMC with great confidence here. It's not the best of models. Um, not really what we want to look at, so we're actually going to get out of there for now. Um, and yeah, European has some cold water coming back, um, and that's really that's what I want to show you. Um, precip, um, let's see about the accumulated precip here, total precip through the end of the forecast period and not very active guys until we see the storm system around the 29th and that's what I want to tell you guys about right now this is the next kind of section of this video this is the longer range video there's a storm system here across the central conus here um probably should sit back out not go back I should go out to the United States there's a storm system here around the 29th and again I'm not going to say this is going to happen this is not going to be the exact totals here but you can see, uh, if we go to precip type, this is just don't pay attention to this, but you can see 29th, guess what? Snow starting to develop, and you get a 
pretty big storm system here out of uh, the scent out of I mean a pretty great storm system here if you want snow um, it makes sense all right I'm not gonna say this is what's gonna be exact this is not gonna be the exact kind of thing this is not gonna be the exact thing nice run but I'm just telling you um, 10 days out I mean it looks good for a storm system and, and again I'm not just using models to say this is what's gonna happen no, I'm using out of the box methods using bearing C method to tell me there's a storm system here around the 28th and 29th of December. I'm confident in that. Do I know what the, the Pacific's out this far out? No, I don't. Do I know where the snow's going to be, where is the ice going to be, where is, if we're just going to get all rain? I don't know that yet. But there is signs to tell me there is some maybe some potential um, beginning storm, snowstorm, winter storm here as we had to uh, before um, before. New Year's Eve, and this is going to be a storm system to watch. I'm going to actually going to be kind of scared to see how this evolves. There's a reason why. I'll show you in a minute. You can see the moisture starting to get drawn up from the Gulf of Mexico, all right? And that brings in a warm nose, which can cause, guess what, ice concerns. And I, this is kind of scary for me because right now, the way I look at it right now, um, freezing rain, you can see that it's starting to kind of develop down here. And this is what I don't want to see because... Freezing rain is terrible, guys. I'm not going to lie, it's terrible. Uh, I live in Kansas, got a freezing rain, ice storm last year. We got an inch and an inch and a half, and it was terrible. There was no wind, all right? But according to this model run, this this run today, uh, wind gust, and if there's ice, it's going to be terrible. This shows a wind gust starting to get up here, and when you have ice like that, and you get wind gust of 30, 40 miles per hour, that's not a good sign, all right? And that's 40 knots. That's higher miles per hour wise. All right, which is not a sight to see, but there, I do think there's a winter storm here. I just don't know how this is going to evolve, but I do think there is a lot of moisture to work with here, and I think there is a potential for some, a heavy snowstorm, an ice storm, and maybe even uh, a pretty big amount here. So um, that's what all for me. Um, as you can see, slide number three. If this were to happen, this is what I think. The one strong threat is right now for that time frame. And again, I put moderate on there, almost a moderate. Uh, this is low confidence, all right? This is the same. This is low confidence, and this is really low confidence. But I'm just saying, um, with the model consistency, I, not consistency, but the, with the model kind of agreeing with the Bering C method, it kind of gives me more confidence that this is, a, this is a legitimate threat, all right? And that's the reason I put it by moderate. I think this is all going to increase if we see seen trends toward a winter storm. And I do think this is going to increase probably to high. I mean, I don't know. It's a long ways out. And you can see there's low confidence. But this is going to definitely going to increase in the next few days. So we're, so that's really all we can see for central plains. There is there is hope for moisture. Uh, there is maybe a chance for a winter storm as you head down the road by uh, New Year's. A lot of verification in the models. Um, I hope you guys really kind of enjoyed today's short central plains update. And again, winter storm commercial potential and threat is on the rise as we head um, through New Year's Eve. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Hopefully, I can get a video in before uh, Christmas actually is here. Um, hopefully, we get a white Christmas here in Kansas. Not a guarantee, but potentially, um, potential there with an inch of snow shown by both models. So, so yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, have a great, have a great day. Have a great week. Um, I'll see you in the next long range video.